Hey, look, I made a plow. Here I'm using a bunch of clamps to see how all these pieces need to fit together. Just trimming down these pivot mount pieces. After fiddling with all the geometry, I went through and kind of put these two center support beams in, welded them up. I'd mostly just done tack welds to start, but here I'm doing full welding. I'm pretty bad at welding. My equipment isn't very good. And I don't quite clean it up as much as I ought to, but it gets the job done. I end up having to spend a lot of time grinding down my bad welds. This protective plastic was just awful. I couldn't get it off just by peeling it, so I'd use a heat gun and spend a whole lot of time getting this peeled off. After lots of fiddling and using every clamp in my arsenal, changing up clamping strategies a couple of times, I ended up finding a way that would let that stainless sit down pretty well against the braces. Then I'm coming in and welding it. Cleaning, priming, and painting. Now I start trying to put this thing together. Sticking with the theme of reusing as much old junk as I could, I'm cutting this old skateboard ramp surface and using that as the poly blade. But let me do a quick walk around. So, first, I have this Harbor Freight small 2,500 pound winch which is clearly not even hooked up yet. I'm still waiting on some wire. That connects down here to this half inch rod. As you see, I just got a couple of springs mocking up now, but I've got uh, the capability of up to 12 springs from a trampoline. And that actually will allow the whole thing to fold forward. It's far too loose right now. Um, what causes the, the plow to stop when it comes back is it just positively rests against this piece of quarter inch steel. It looks like probably I've got to do something to brace it side to side. There's a bit of wiggle. We'll see how that works in my situation. Got the stainless coat of paint and primer on the whole thing so that it doesn't rust. Uh, and I've got this poly blade that I made out of actually, it's called Skate Light. It's a surfacing for skateboard ramps. I believe made out of uh, a phenolic resin and fiber. So that should be very hard yet softer than, than steel. So I haven't actually weighed this thing, but being cantilevered out as little as I could possibly do, it looks like my front suspension is dipping a noticeable amount. So maybe new springs in the front would help out a lot. So that wraps up this video. Tell me in the comments what I did wrong and how you would have done it better. And if you like this video, maybe you'll like some of my others.